All right, what's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link is in the description box below, as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also. They asked me to put it up, so I put it up. Uh, thanks, everybody, for supporting. But this video, though, this video is entitled Do You Have a Backbone or a Wishbone? See, you got to ask yourself are you one of those people who, who want to stand on your beliefs? Or one of those people who believe in yourself Or one of those people who can um, Carry the load Or you one of those people who wish You know Wish And that's the difference It's a big difference Because Some people Are Dependable, reliable um, They're stand up people They gotta, you know They're stand up for justice and injustice, stand up to injustice and, you know, um, put themselves on the line for, for not only themselves but other people. They, they have a backbone, right? They're willing to um, speak truth to power. So are you that person? Or are you a person with a wishbone? Who I wish somebody would stand up for me. I wish somebody would s say what I'm thinking. I wish somebody would uh, put themselves on the line. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, you, you wish somebody would actually uh, fix it instead of you being able to fix it, right? So, you got, you know, this is how life and society works. You got two different types of people you know go-getters and people that want you to give it to them now you gotta ask what you have and and life has its up and down so you could be it could vacillate you could be have a backbone in one area and a wishbone in another just to be you know fair but they got people who, you know, want to be successful. So they go out, work at it, compete. Uh, and whatever their definition of success is, you know, they put their blood, sweat, and tears into get, making that a reality. They have backbone, you know, gumption. Um, they are the quintessential true go-getters in life. And then there are people who have dreams of success, but they just wish it would all happen by happenstance. Like they just walk in somewhere and somebody say, hey, you're special. We're going to make you special for the rest of your life. That's a wishbone. You know, maybe somebody sees you and it, your luck changes and, you know, Whatever you were doing to just get by, now you can do that and wind up being rich and famous. And it's like, mm. and that's what that's you know the the wish. And the crazy part about that is, it's two different mentalities. Because a person with a backbone is gonna be like, I earned this, I work for this. A person with a wishbone is like, I deserve this. So it's a more of entitlement, right? So do you have a backbone or do you have a wishbone? You know, are you willing to work for what you, the success you want? Or, or do you expect the world to give you the success that you want? So, you know, it's a difference. It's a big difference. The other thing, you know, Do you have a backbone or a wishbone when it pertains to, how can I say this? When it, when it pertains to sacrifice. Do you have the backbone to, to take the short-term risk for long-term rewards? Or do you wish somebody else would take a short-term risk? For for your long term rewards, you know, are you willing to to um, put yourself 
in a position where you may or may not make it. A feast of famine situation, right? Do you have the backbone to make that executive decision? Like, look, man, on this is all or nothing. You know, we either going to win or, or we're going to lose. We're going to win big or we're going to lose big. But we're going to take this chance. Versus a person who's, um, how can I say this? A person who doesn't want to take the risk whatsoever. You know, but they want to hitch their wagon to a person taking a, taking a risk. You know, I wish... I, you know, I wish you succeed so we can make it, you know, wishbone has you riding somebody else's coattails to whatever their success could be or should be, right, and it gets interesting, right, it gets, because at some point you got to think, you know, because the person who, who, put themselves out there who took the risk, you know, uh, to the victor goes the spoils. And if you have a backbone, you're willing to be, you're willing to see if you're going to be a victor. And if you win, you get all the spoils, right? But if you have a wishbone, you're wishing that somebody is victorious that you know so they can spoil you. So which one do you have, a backbone or a wishbone? Right, you know, when it comes to leadership, what I mean by leadership is this: Are you willing to make that make the decisions that can you live with the consequences from the group? Do you have backbone to make make a call and say, "Look, I'm." Le- I'm steadfast in my beliefs, and this is going to work out in the end for every all parties involved under my leadership. Do you have the backbone enough and resolve to to stick with the plan even when it doesn't look good, right? And to say, look, don't worry about how it looks right now. It's going to end well. I love it when a plan comes together, right? Or do you have a wishbone as far as leadership? When, you know, I wish somebody could be the scapegoat. You know, I wish I could be the leader, but somebody else be the fall guy. Really. You know, I wish if I make a good decision, I get praised forever and a day. But if I make a bad decision, you know, I wish somebody would just let it pass, let it slide. Not question my authority or question my decision making. You know, do you have a backbone or a wishbone, right? Parenting, do you have a backbone or a wishbone? As a parent, do you have, are you, are you going to actually uh, guide and, uh, and train your child up the way you want them to go in a positive, prog- progressive, productive direction? Or do you have a wishbone? Do you wish somebody would come along and teach your kid all of the things that you're not trying to teach them? But you just want them to be a successful adult, right? Do you have a backbone or a wishbone when it comes to that? Do you have a backbone or a wishbone when it comes to self-improvement? You know, when it's time to better yourself, can you take a good, hard look at yourself in the mirror and say, this is what I need to fix, and this is what I'm doing good at, but I get, I have to get to work to fix these things, so it's time to roll up my sleeves and get my hands dirty, or do you have a wishbone where you, you know, you wish somebody could whip you into shape, or you wish there was an easy, quick fix solution, and, and you will take every shortcut in the book for self-improvement, you take every shortcut Every pill, every, you know, whatever, whatever the new infomercial is, you know, he said, take this pill right now and it'll fix your life. Like, nah, nah, you got a wishbone because you're willing to pay for a shortcut. And the shortcut is only going to lead to another shortcut and it's only going to lead to another shortcut, which is going to lead you nowhere. 
So, you know, ultimately, in certain things in life, you got to ask yourself, do you have a backbone or do you have a wishbone? So, you let me know. We out.